The next resource we're going to look at is Book. Book allows text to be uh, read in sort of a book manner um, as opposed to just a simple web page. With Book, you can um, you do things like create a uh, unit guide. Um, you can actually ideally house your entire textbook in this one feature. Um, it is pretty functional, it is pretty simple to use, um, and it's it's pretty easy for your students to to use as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn editing on, and I will scroll down to add a resource, and I'm going to go to where it says book. When I do that, as with most things in Moodle, it's going to ask me to title it. So I'm going to call this Sample Book. Go ahead and copy and paste it there. Oh, we're not going to do anything with the chapter numbering at this point. I'll save and return to course. Now when I do that, I'm going to see this icon, Sample Book. Go ahead and click on that. And what it's going to ask me to do is just to start adding chapters. So let's say, for example, I did want to turn this into my actual textbook. Um, I would call this, say, Chapter 1. Um, I don't know, we might call it uh, Asia, let's just say. Now, in this section, I can uh, put information. It can be as simple as a paragraph, copy and paste it from Word. Um, it can be pictures, it can be web links. So the more time I spend with this, the more elaborate I can make this this book. Um, so I could have uh, theoretically everything that's in my textbook in that chapter in here in this feature. Uh, the nice thing about that is that there's really two nice things about that. One is I've now taken uh, a textbook which is really um, words and pictures on on pages and turn it into something that can be quite interactive. Uh, the second nice thing about that is it's housed right here in the unit that I've created in Moodle as opposed to having a textbook which is uh, somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just add some text. Again, if you were using this, you could continue on and on. I'm just trying to give you an example. So I might put that information here. Now, if you see, I have the HTML editor, so I can put pictures and links and, and things of that nature in there. So let's say um, let's say I wanted to get to just again as as an example here. I might go to the wiki page on Asia. I can take this link. paste it in there like so. Um, I can go get a picture in much the same way as I did before. I already have this Asia picture in here so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Makes that smaller. So theoretically I could have this picture up here have all the text and definitions and all that kind of stuff that I wanted to have about Asia here as well. I can even link this. We haven't uh, gone through this yet, but I can link this to the glossary that my students create. So I'll, instead of uh, seeing a, a word in a textbook and having the students go and look it up in the back or use an index or something like that, I could just have it link internally um, to where they would see uh, perhaps another student's uh, glossary entry on that. So that's one chapter. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. And when I do that, on the left over here, it's going to have my chapter outline. As I add chapters, it'll they'll line up here to where I kind of have a table of contents, as it says right there, over here to the left. Um, here, I can um, navigate this way. And when I add another chapter, let's go ahead and do that. In order to add another chapter, I simply use the plus. It's a new icon. We have Edit, Delete, Student View, and Add Chapter. So I'll click on that.
again, I could add pictures and links and so on and so forth. Now I've got chapter one here, chapter two here, and if I want to go right now, I'm on chapter uh, two. If I want to get back to chapter one, I just click this back button. So it kind of looks like a book. Um, page one, page two, so on and so forth. I'll just add a another page here just for perspective. Okay, so I have chapter one, two, and actually I named that one chapter five. Again, if you make mistakes, you can go back and edit it pretty easily just by clicking on that edit button. One, two, and three. Here's chapter three. I can get back to chapter two by clicking back, chapter one by clicking there. I can also navigate just by clicking on the chapters. If, let's say, I, I've changed my mind, I want the Americas to be um, before the Europe chapter, I can use these black up and down arrows. And it'll move those around like so. Okay, use my breadcrumbs, get back to my course. So there's a, a nice book feature my students can actually have a textbook embedded in Moodle. Um, another uh, couple of the suggested uh, uses for this, as I said, if you want to put, um, say, your, your essential questions for your unit here, if you want to put uh, assignments that are going to be given here, it's a nice way to house kind of a, a unit preview or unit guide. Um, you could also really use this as a web quest where you had your um, introduction, task, assessment, so on and so forth and then you just built your web quest elements right um, into the Moodle. So in, instead of having to do it with say a PowerPoint or actually create a website which is kinda tedious, uh, this is a quick way to, to create a web quest as well. And this is the video on books.